वेलकम टू द इमरान अकेडमी आई एम डिस्कसिंग विद यू जनरल मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ टेंथ क्लास पंजाब टेक्स बुक फॉर लाहौर एंड द यूनिट दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग इज यूनिट टेन एंड द नेम ऑफ द यूनिट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू कोऑर्डिनेट जियोमेट्री एंड इन दिस यूनिट द मेन फार्मूला इज द डिस्टेंस फार्मूला बिटवीन टू पॉइंट्स ऑफ कोर्स एंड let's start its question previously i have covered uh, the first five questions now it's time to start with the sixth one question number 6 says show that the points a b and c are the vertices of a right triangle so here we'll use the distance formula and find the distance between these points for example <coughs> the distance between a and b then the distance between b and c then we can find the distance between a and c so let's do this uh, distance between a and b this is a it's coordinates are x1 y1 and b suppose its coordinates are x2 and y2 so i can just use the distance formula x2 minus x1 whole square y2 minus y1 whole square <coughs> so in place of x2 i have 3 so 3 and in place of x1 i have 0 so it will be x2 minus x1 means 3 minus 0 squared plus y2 minus y1 y2 in place of y2 i have negative 2 and in place of y1 i have 2 so it's negative 2 minus 2 so 3 minus 0 becomes 3 so 3's square is 9 and negative 2 negative 2 becomes negative 4 and negative 4 squared is 16 so 9 plus 16 becomes 25 and the square root of 25 is just 5 but i want to have its square so if i just square this 25 square root 25 squared becomes 25 now i find the distance between b and c <coughs> so the points b and c let me write the points for convenience the point b is 3 comma 2 and the point c is 7 comma 3 here again suppose this is our x1 and this is our y1 this is our x2 and this is our y2 so the formula says x2 minus x1 whole square x2 minus x1 whole square i have written the wrong question just a second uh, these points are 3 comma negative 2 and c is 0 uh, comma negative 2 so these are the points this is x1 this is y1 this is x2 and this is y2 suppose that's how we are moving so x2 minus x1 0 minus 3 x2 minus x1 so it is 0 minus 3 squared and y2 minus y1 y2 is this one negative 2 and minus y1 is also negative 2 so this will cancel each other 0 minus 3 squared is just 3 squared negative 3 squared is 9 and minus 2 plus 2 these two negative signs 
are multiplying with each other and convert into a positive sign. So we have minus 2 plus 2 is 0. So 9 plus 0 is just 9. And just taking the square, uh, square root of 9 uh, is created 3. So I want uh, the square of this one. So it becomes 9 again. Now I'll just find the distance AC. Here I have the points A. A point is 0 and 2. And C point is 0 and minus 2. <coughs> Again using the formula. Uh, 0 minus 0 squared negative 2 minus 2 squared so it becomes negative 2 and negative 2 negative 4 squared so it becomes 16 and the square root of 16 is 4 but I want to take the square of this one taking square I get 16 again now I can see that uh, Six, uh, AC is 16, BC is 9, and AB is actually 25. If I just see it uh, from here, I see here AB was calculated to be 25. So uh, I can observe that uh, the square of AB distance AB is equal to the square of distance BC plus the square of distance AC. <coughs> this is exactly, this thing exactly is called Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem, you can say that, or Pythagoras theorem. Since the Pythagoras theorem is satisfied with these distances, so we can say that the points are basically the vertices of a right triangle because Pythagoras theorem is satisfied only in the right triangle. Right triangle is a triangle in which one angle is equal to 90 degree. One angle is equal to 90 degree. So it is called a right angle triangle or just the right triangle. So right in right triangle Pythagoras theorem is applicable okay so this is the answer to the problem let's move to the next one the next question is show that the points a B and C are collinear points again we'll use the distance formula and find the distance between point A and B, then B and C, and then A and C. So let's do it. Point A and B. Here 3 minus minus 1. This is x2, your x2, and this is your x1. So x2 minus x1 whole square, and y2 minus y1 whole square. So 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 whole square. 3 minus minus plus, 3 plus 1 becomes 4. So 4 square is 16 and 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1 square is 1. So 16 plus 1 is 17. So the distance AB is 17. Similarly, the distance BC can be calculated. Let me write the points for your understanding. Let me write the points here. The B point is 3 comma 2 and the C point is 7 comma 3. So these are the points. So x2 minus x1, this one minus this one whole square then y2 minus y1 that is uh, this one minus this one whole square. So 7 minus 3 whole square is just 4 squared which is 16. 3 minus one, uh, 2 squared is just 1 squared which is 1 
तो 16 plus 1 is 17. Now again, uh, last is the distance AC. Let's find this distance as well. So A here is negative 1 and 1 and C is 7 and 3. So here again, uh, this one minus this one, C is equal to AB, distance AC equals AB plus putting the values of these, the left hand side is just equal to the right hand side. Hence, we can say that the points are collinear points.